This video is about a minute paper. What is a minute paper? It's an informal assessment strategy. It's a way to get students written feedback. Adjust the teaching approaches during mid-course and make sure the students are in the right course of learning. To use this strategy, an instructor stops class several minutes early and asks students to respond briefly to the following two questions. What was the most important thing you learned during this class? And what important question remains unanswered? Students write their responses on half sheet of paper and hand them in. The instructor will tabulate the responses and make note of any useful comments. In the next class, the instructor can clarify the main points of the last class, answer students' unanswered questions, or teach students some better learning skills if the questions result from lacking of learning skills in certain aspects. What principles drive this strategy? Assessment for learning is a principle behind this informal assessment strategy. To find out how well the students learn and what needs to be adjusted about teaching approaches in the middle of course, not after the final exam. Using minute paper, the instructor can get students' feedback and solve their problems in a timely manner. It helps build instructor-student rapport, increases learner engagement, and enhance the learning result. When and in what context would this strategy work the best? When would it not work? This strategy is normally used in the beginning or end of the class. Many the papers are probably most useful in lecture or lecture discussion courses, especially in courses that regularly present the student with a great deal of new information. Because it's quick to administer and easy to analyze, the minute paper is well suited for use in large classes. It can also be used to assess what students have learned from a lab session, study group meeting, field trip, homework assignment, videotape, or exam. Limitations Over and incorrect use may make students feel weary. Create to comprehend the questions is more difficult than it seems. Time is limited. The instructor may not be able to answer all questions. Not all learning can be assessed. What are the advantages? It provides a manageable amount of timely and useful feedback for a minimal investment of time and energy. For instructors, by analyzing students' responses, they can quickly check how well those students are learning what they're teaching. They can get immediate mid-course feedback and quickly respond to students. They can decide whether any mid-course corrections or changes are needed. If so, what will that be? The responses can be read, tabulated, and analyzed quickly with limited effort. Instructor can use it to demonstrate respect for students' feedback, encourage active listening, which are often lacking in large classes. For students, getting the instructor's feedback on their minute papers helps students learn how to distinguish the major points from the details. The minute paper ensures that the students' questions will be raised and, in many cases, answered in time to facilitate further learning. Individual students can compare their responses with those of the class as a whole. To select the most significant information, learners must first recall what they have just learned. To come up with a question, they must ask themselves how well they understand about the content. This helps learners develop ability to synthesize and integrate information and ideas to think holistically, to see the whole as well as the parts, to concentrate, and to listen actively. 
What are the best practices? Decide what you want to assess. To assess students' understanding of a lecture, the last few minutes of class may be the best time. If you want to assess students' understanding of a prior assignment, use the first few minutes of the class. Prepare the question carefully, using the two basic questions as starting points. Write minute paper prompts that fit your course and students. Try out your minute paper with a colleague or teaching assistant before using it in class. Time management is very important for assessment. Keep it within five minutes. Let the students know how much time they will have. Remember to provide the feedback in the next class. Tell students you need a brief and a legible answer in responses, and when they can expect your feedback. Tabulate and analyze the response. Plan to set aside five to ten minutes of your next class to give students your feedback about their responses. Adjust your teaching method based on students' feedback. Let them feel that they are respected. Provide feedback is very important in minute paper assessment. Make sure provide feedback in a timely manner at the next class. Analyze the response to determine the most frequently asked questions, and make sure to address and answer those questions in class, because you normally don't have much time for answering all questions. If you will make some change about your teaching methods based on students' responses, let them know their voice matter. I created this video by using these references. Happy teaching!